Hey guys, so I'm finally sitting down to do my one month update. Yes, it is almost a week late. Um, maybe a week by the time you're watching this even. Um, Jocelyn was one month old on the 16th and um, I meant to film this like last week, but if you've ever had a newborn, you know life is crazy. But that little person just keeps you constantly busy. Um, she's always either eating, sleeping, or fussy, and when she's sleeping is when I'm trying to like get a shower, get ready for the day, do dishes, laundry, all that regular daily stuff. So um, yeah, it's just been crazy, but I'm sure you understand, especially if you've ever had a baby. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'll just give you a little backstory of um, when she was born, but anyway, um, I basically went into labor Monday morning at like 6 o'clock, woke up with, um, really intense contractions, and I just felt like something was happening, because <laughs> it was just crazy as, um, a little time went by, like by late morning, I was just feeling, um, Really, I was like shaky, sweaty, I was losing my mucus plug like crazy. Um, yeah, I just like knew something was happening. Um, but yeah, so they were really intense and pretty timeable for like several hours. And so we decided to go to the hospital instead of my appointment that was supposed to be that afternoon. Um, but yeah, basically no progress, got sent home, which was really frustrating. We were both had gotten like no sleep, hardly any sleep, and we were just tired and frustrated. Um, but yeah, so late, but the contractions only like kind of faded off for just a little bit. And then by, by like five o'clock, they were back really strong. I got in the tub, trying to make them go away. Um, but then it got worse, <laughs> and they were just getting so intense, um, yeah, it was very, very painful. Um, so, yeah, um, then late that night my husband had to go to work, and we didn't know, like, what, if I was, we didn't know what was going on, obviously, if I wasn't leaving or not, so his mom took me to the hospital, and he had to go to work. Um, so, but still, like, no progress, but I was in way too much pain to just go home, and I was so thankful that my midwife happened to be there, um, this was, like, super late at night, um, and we were, like, had been walking around and trying everything, but, uh, I was so exhausted by then, too, um, so, thankfully, because she offered to do a morphine rest, and I was so thankful for that because I knew if I went home, this was just going to keep up and then I wasn't going to get any sleep at all, which I still didn't really get any sleep, but I was able, it was enough to make me like relax. And so they moved, gave me an actual room and gave me a shot of morphine and like it definitely helped a ton, but I could still feel um, the contractions. And so I was there all night and then by morning um, I had made enough progress and my mid to be admitted officially and the midwife said um, that since I was able to relax a little bit overnight that's probably what helped me actually make progress and so yeah um, so at that point I just I felt so gross so I just went ahead and took a shower and everything and then things started going a lot faster um around so we finally we got my epidural and then they get, my contractions were kind of getting like uneven so they gave me a little bit of pitocin which I wasn't like totally opposed to because I didn't want to be there all day either um but yeah sorry I'm like scatterbrain but I'm trying to remember it's been over a month, but um, 
Yeah. So they gave me a little bit of Pitocin and apparently my contractions still stayed uneven, but they said it was working for me apparently because I was still, you know, moving along. And um, so by, at around 12 noon, I was like a four. And so then about two, um, when she checked again, I was sure she was going to say like five, maybe seven. But at that point, I was already a nine. So <laughs> at this point, it was moving pretty fast. And then by a little before 2.30, like 2.20ish, 2.30, um, I was a ten. So... Yeah, it went super fast from then, and at this point it was like so intense. When they say like, you know when that baby's coming, like it's true, like it was so, the pressure was like so intense, like <laughs> it's kind of funny but you literally feel like you have to poop really, really bad, um, it's really gross, but that's how it felt. Um, so I was like, yeah, this baby's coming. And so, yeah, which they said when I was done that I had been pushing for like 45 minutes, which I knew it didn't feel like that. But then I looked back at pictures and we had taken a picture of me and Justin about 2.45, well, 2.44 to be exact, on my phone. And that was before we started pushing. So it was more like 30 minutes or less. Cause she was born at 319 so yeah it was like less than 30 minutes so um yeah um an actual delivery like obviously it was hard but I was so thankful I mean I was so thankful for the epidural and everything but obviously at that point there's like just such intense pressure and everything that that's not really affecting it <laughs> very much at that point. Like she told me it wouldn't. But um, yeah, so she was born at 319 p.m. on the 16th of June. Um, she was seven point, no, oh, seven. She was seven pounds, 9.9 .9 ounces, and 20.5 inches long. And um, yeah, it was just the most amazing experience. Ever. <laughs> so um, a little while later she was still having trouble breathing so they suctioned some fluid out of her lungs and then she was still having trouble breathing so um, they did an x-ray real quick and found a tiny hole in her lung so then they had to bring her up to the NICU which really stunk because um, then we hardly got to see her and I could like barely get up there because um, I could barely get out of bed. Like every time I stood up, it felt like my insides were gonna fall out. And then by the next day, my feet smelled up like logs, my lower legs and my feet, and I could barely walk. Um, it was, yeah, the pressure and everything, like, uh, yeah. I'm so glad I didn't really tear that bad um, because with everything else, I can imagine having a really bad tear because the recovery was like that first week was pretty intense but after that I started to feel pretty good um yeah I don't want to make this video terribly long so um I do want to try to show her hopefully she won't be like too fussy as I told you guys I would um but she is doing good um the first week home she was like the perfect baby and only cried when she was hungry but then after that we started having a lot of issues with gas and you could just tell she was like in pain and so we switched her formula because I do have to supplement um because I just exclusive exclusively um pump so and she eats like a little monster so I only get half of what she eats so um so I use an organic uh, lactose relief formula and she's doing better with that, but she still does get kind of fussy sometimes. And then also using a probiotic, which has been helping too. But there's still obviously times when she's um, gassy and then she's like fussing if she's trying to go. 
which is really weird because it's so soft you would think it would be easy but apparently not um yeah so um and the day after she turned a month old she rolled over from belly to back for the first time which is crazy that kid is strong um like the very first time i put her on her belly at like less than a week old she like picked her head up and turned it around and almost pushed herself up like I think she's gonna be an early crawler and walker and everything so yeah so other than that um yeah just been enjoying getting to know her and she's already changed so much it's crazy but yeah um I'm so thankful I don't like work full-time outside the home where I'd have to like miss all of her little just everything so yeah she changes like every day it's crazy and I can't believe how time flies yeah so um I will try to do I can't say when because it's been so crazy and took long enough just to get this video up but I will try to do like um, mom and baby favorites um, cause there are some things that are like lifesavers. Um, yeah. So, I'm gonna call it that for now. Um, and hopefully get her in here in just a minute. Um, but yeah, I guess that's it for now. And I do still intend on starting to vlog maybe a little bit, but right now it's just hard cause I feel like when she's just either sleeping or eating or fussy, <laughs> I feel like at this stage it's kind of hard to record much. And, um, yeah. Plus, I don't want to see my messy house. But hey, that's real life with a newborn. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, that's all for right now, and I will see you later. Bye, guys. You say hi? Can you look that way? Me. Hey, Justin. Can you look that way? No. Hey. So here is Miss Jocelyn. She's obviously a month old, almost five weeks. Um she's growing like a weed. Like I said, she was born seven nine and by her uh by her one by her four week appointment she was 10 pounds <laughs> so um we're filling out the three month size and so yeah she's growing fast and she'll probably into three to six soon just sad but um i'm so I need to get more three to six because that's one size I didn't have much of. But I'm kind of hoping she'll be in like six to nine, like the longest, like through fall and winter, because that's the size I have a lot of, um, like, well, not a lot, a lot, but some cute little sweaters and stuff, um, and little long sleeves for fall and winter. And our winters are quite long here in Michigan, so I think I'll get some use out of those. Um, yeah, huh. You're just growing so fast. You like the camera? Hmm? That'd be nice if you do. You say hi? Yeah. She's got a little bit of cradle cap on her forehead, but... I don't want to put like too many chemicals on it, but yeah. Oh, eyelash there. No. She eats so much. Like she just finished off like six ounces that she had started just a little bit earlier. Um. Yeah. So at this point, I usually eat like three, I think, <laughs> and. Yeah, she's a little piggy, little milk monster. Um, yeah. So.
So, now you know. This is Jocelyn. I'm sure most of you have seen her like on my Instagram and stuff. But for those of you who don't have Instagram, or you're not following me like you should, or or you don't know me like personally, but yeah. Yeah. She's like very alert though. Like looking at everything and yeah. Yeah, you do, huh? Yeah. And she got so much hair. Like, I love it. Like, my husband thought she would have a lot of hair, but I was just thinking, yeah, she'll probably have some dark hair, but it won't be very long, is what I was thinking. Because I was a bald blondie. But she has got hair. And I just love it. Pretty soon I'll even be able to, like, clip. Use, like, the clips in her hair. Um. Well, it doesn't, like, fall out or something. But it hasn't yet, so I'm hoping that means it's going to stay. And when I get longer. Um. Like, see the back of her head? It's messy, but yeah, she has got so much hair, so much hair, like, look at that, so long, huh, she's so strong, say hi, yeah, yeah, huh, call it that and um yeah what are you doing Ooh. all right so we will see you later <laughs> just look at the lights you like the lights